Analog is the full stack meta framework for building applications and websites with Angular. It supports SSR, SSG, file based routing, API routes, and more. This video shows you how to build a blog with Analog and Angular using Markdown. To create a new Analog project, you can use the create command with your package manager of choice. Here we're going to use npm create analog at latest with the title of the project. Select the template for analog, select the release of Angular, select if you would like Tailwind, and it scaffolds your project for you. Now you can change into that directory, install the dependencies using your package manager of choice. After the dependencies installed, you can start the development server using the npm start command. Navigate to the address provided to see the application running in your browser. Here we just have the template page for an analog project with a simple counter. Next, we want to start modifying the project to use Markdown to build the blog. Analog comes with support for using Markdown as content out of the box. To add support for rendering Markdown content, we're going to use the at analog JS slash content package. So we're going to bring in the imports, provide content and with Markdown renderer. And we're going to add the provide content with Markdown renderer to the providers of the app config. This allows you to use Markdown content directly as routes and to render Markdown content inside of Angular components. Next, let's create our first page with Markdown. So we're going to go into the pages directory and create a file named about.md. And we're going to paste in the Markdown content here, which is just a title for the page and some content to display. Front Matter is also supported for additional metadata such as title, description, meta tags, and more. So we're going to save our changes. And now we're back to our running application. And we're going to go to the About route. And we can see that it displays the content that we define in our About.md Markdown file. As I mentioned before, Markdown files can also be used in combination with route components to display content. To create a custom page for a blog post, Analog provides a built-in component. The directory where we can place markdown files for using in the blog is the content directory. So we're going to go under source and create a content directory. And now we're going to create the first uh, blog post in this directory. So we're going to create a file called myfirstpost.md. I'm going to add some content here for the blog post. So this just defines the title for the blog post, my first post the slug for the blog post, which can match the file name of the markdown file itself or can be customized. Next, we'll define an interface for the shape of the data return from the front matter. For this example, the interface is going to be placed in the source app models folder, a file called post.ts. We'll paste that content in that interface in there and name it blog post with just a title but depending on the items you have in your front matter, you can define more properties here. Next, create a page component for the blog. This page serves as the parent layout for listing the blog posts and displaying individual blog posts. So under the pages, create the page component file in blog.page.ts. This looks like a standard Angular route component. It has using standalone components. You have a router outlet and we have the title of the blog in the router outlet uh, component here. Next, create the page component for the file that displays the blog post. This defines a nested route with the blog page being the parent route and the blog post page being the child route that will be rendered under the router outlet. So we do this by defining a folder with the same name as our layout. So we have blog.page.ts. We're going to create a folder called blog and create a file in the blog folder called slug.page.ts. The square brackets around the slug de define it as a dynamic route parameter. So we add the component for reading the blog post. By default, Analog needs the slug route parameter to determine which content file to read from the source content folder. So if we're visiting my first post, it's going to use the slug parameter as my first post to go and fetch the content to display. The inject content function in analog reads the content from the markdown file and also reads the attributes and content that are provided and returns it as an observable. There's also the markdown component provided by analog and our standard ng if and async pipe. Save these changes. 
Now we'll go to slash blog slash my first post. Now we see our layout with our title here of my blog and my first post for the blog and hello world for the content. Next, let's display the blog post in a list and link to each blog post so that we can navigate around. For this page, an index route at slash blog will display a list of the blog posts. It will also go under the same layout as we defined before. Under the blog folder, we create an index.page.ts, and this will define the blog route. Here, we're still using standalone components, and we're using the inject content files function. The inject content files function provides a list of the markdown files inside the source content folder with the front matter already parsed and available to use in the component. The blog post interface is used to add type safety for the post attributes in the template and standard ng4 syntax is used here to iterate over each one of the posts and link to the post that we defined in our front matter and also displays the title of the post. We'll save this file. So we'll go back to the running application. Instead of going to slash blog slash my first post, we just go to slash blog and it shows my blog the same before as defined in our layout and just the posts that are listed here. And we have my first post, which is automatically brought in from the content folder. You can click on my first post. It takes us back to our first blog post and we can navigate back to our list. A list of blog posts can now be displayed as well as individual blog posts. A redirect can also be used to navigate from the home page directly to the slash blog page. Currently we have our stub home page here and we'll replace this with a redirect. A page component is not necessary to define a redirect. So we'll go to the index page, place the contents of the index page with a redirect. Route meta allows you to attach additional route metadata to a route. Here it's using a redirect but other metadata such as guards, resolvers, page titles, and more can be added. Save our changes, go back to our running application. We remove the slash blog and we just go to our homepage and we're automatically redirected to slash blog. Analog also supports static site generation out of the box. So you can pre-render the content, which gives you better SEO and enables the site to be navigated without JavaScript turned on. To pre-render the routes in the vconfig, there's the analog plugin and we'll add a config object to define the routes to be pre-rendered. These routes are pre-rendered into static HTML during build time. Routes for pre-rendering can be defined using a static array. They can also be defined using an async function if you want to define the routes to pre-render dynamically. With the pages defined for pre-rendering, we can build the blog for deployment. To build the static assets, we run npm run build, which runs the ng build command. And this builds the application and renders the pages that we define for pre-rendering. By default, the static assets are placed into the dist analog public folder. So we have our about page, our blog page, my first post, and our slash blog route, which lists our blog posts. These files can be shipped to your deployment provider of choice and hosted on a CDN. You can find the link to the GitHub repo for this example in the description below. Visit and star the GitHub repo at github.com slash analogjs slash analog. Join the discord at chat.analogjs.org or follow us on Twitter at, at analogjs. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as that really helps me out. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.